Uh, my name's Tom Gorski. Uh, I shot this buck in, in Huron County on October 10th uh, with my compound bow on state land. Um, I still remember it. I still get excited about, you know, talking about it to everybody. And uh, I still can't believe I shot a deer like this. But uh, I got him on state land and uh, the morning that I was gonna go hunt, um, there was another car in the uh, in the parking lot and I was like, well, I don't know, do I go out there? Do I, you know, not go out there? And uh, I could see their light and they weren't going anywhere near where I wanted to go. So I ended up going and uh, there's these uh, really deep ditches. And um, so we hunt over this beaver dam and uh, our trees just on the other side of the ditch. And then, um, you know, I sat out there. It was probably one of the hottest days of the year. It was probably 70 degrees and uh, I wasn't seeing much. I saw two little fawns and then um, so I, you know, I was kind of getting bored up there, sweating, sitting there and uh, I was watching some Steve Eiserman interviews, you know, not really paying attention to the woods and uh, so then finally I, I decided to get down, I crossed the beaver dam and uh, I walk about 30 yards and I look over to my right in this tall swale field and there's two giant bucks walking right at me. And it, it took me a second to, to realize, you know, what's going on. And I look over again and it's like, okay, get ready to shoot these, or at least one of them. And so uh, I got down uh, pretty much, you know, on my knees and uh, I got an arrow ready. And as soon as I, you know, one was gonna hit the trail, I was gonna take a shot. So I was already pulled back waiting and uh, well, my wind wasn't the greatest for where they were. And uh, the first one got to the trail and uh, he took off. And I'm like, this can't be happening. You know, two giant bucks there. Um, well, the other one didn't know what was going on. So I stood up and I could see him. And uh, I could just, I just waited long enough and uh, I let the arrow fly and I, uh, I ended up spining him. And uh, I went over there to see if you know where he went because it was like all of a sudden you know like you see this giant deer and uh there's nowhere to be found so i uh i went over there and you know i may ended up putting another follow-up shot in him and that was history um don't have any pictures of him uh nobody you know other people were seeing this buck but they you know they didn't really know where he was he was all over the place uh we didn't have him on camera um, but yeah, it was a giant and I love every second of it and I'm so grateful to be able to harvest an animal like this.